All right, here we go. I'm gonna draw, show you how to draw a dragon. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna start with just a basic sketch. This would be the top, but this would be the head, the, the main part of the head here. You know, like the top of the head is where the horns will come out. This would be the eye line right here. be the center line here so just so you remember this would be where the cheek comes up here the cheekbone so what I try to do is match the the line see they got the this would be the middle the part of the nose there so what I like to do with dragons as well is when you have the cheek here, but I like to keep it very thin in this area and then it gets bigger. So it gives it a real Japanese dragon look. I like to put a fang in this spot because it looks like the, the tooth is kind of embedded in the cheek here. I always like to put one there. This would be the back of the jaw area. So this line would be, I'll try to mirror this so that it's, the perspective is correct. Let's do the mustache. I'm going to build a nose on top of that. Always want to make it curved up that way. Whisker comes in in this area. Don't be, don't be afraid to sketch and you know, make any corrections with stuff that you don't like. Like a lot of times I'll just do the whisker, just I'm gonna get it kind of more action to it, but do the beard a little bit here. Just get real scribbly, it doesn't matter at this point because we're gonna go over it again with darker line work, so Usually line up the teeth with the nose, so you can do them on any angle, you know, if you could have them sometimes I'll do the spikes will actually even come out from the other side of the the whisker there. bottom jaw, I'll try to figure out, I like to have a really exaggerated stretch, so it would be like this. And you really want to make it narrow here like I was saying, and then it comes out and gets kind of like this angle, where you have like this one here, this would be the front, and then it's kind of like a cone. So I do the opposite of this shape, so it fits. Teeth don't always have to line up, but sometimes I kind of like that. It gives it kind of a ferocious tiger look to it. 
all my customers seem to like that. You know, I don't want to do it too straight, it'd be a little boring, so I'll give it a little wave, then right there I'll pop a, a tooth. This would be like the bottom lip. You know, sometimes I'll give them like, you can give a dragon a big chin, or you can give it like a really small one, but I think this one will look good with a kind of a big chin. And of course you want to put the beard spikes on there. And they want to, you want to fan them out, almost like... And then these here, I usually just kind of cut them back to the... And then it fans out again. Same with the whisk, the ones on the mouth here. I usually do the the bigger ones on the edge. And another thing to keep in mind is when you do the the dragon's neck, I try to get it to go in the same direction as the jaw. And that neck would connect to the back. You figure out where it connects to the back of the head, so it would be almost like a, a dog or some kind of animal. We're not going to really focus on this part now. But when you draw the head, it's good to keep in mind that that's going to have a lot to do with where the body goes. Okay, right where the jaw ends, I start with the ear. I generally do them pretty big, not huge. Kind of have it come down. This will be the fold. This will be the interior of the ear. See the horns are actually in the same dimension as the ear and the chin. You can see all these lines kind of. And then you have these going in this direction.